On paper, the Tri-City Americans don't look like much of an opponent. They were an under 500 team, which is unusual for a playoff team with all the extra points now available. They only made the playoffs because Kamloops was horrible and Prince George couldn't win a game in the so-called playoff race, which was more like a sprint of turtles. Still, looks can be deceiving. Remember the scare Seattle gave Kelowna last year. Hockey is one sport where upsets are rife. They're a hardworking team. They're pretty disciplined. Uh, they, they have a big back end that, you know, has good sticks defensively and so they can be very frustrating to play against. They're a team that has some speed and they have some skill and uh, a very hot goaltender so it's, uh, you know, a goalie can steal a game any given night. The Americans power play, which is the league's third worst, will face the number one penalty kill in Kelowna, while their own PK is ranked eighth. Neither team is particularly physical, at least in terms of penalty minutes. While they do have some speed up front, Tri-City doesn't score a lot. In fact, they are the lowest scoring team to make the playoffs and have the third worst offense in the league. Their leading scorer, Brian Williams, has 36 goals but just 56 points, and he's the only player with more than 20 goals. I think they have a lot of uh, quick forwards up front, and Nichols and Williams, uh, Parker Bowles from Kelowna here. Uh, they definitely are guys that are shifty, and they, they can definitely be a threat on the ice, I think. So that's when our, our D, our top, our, our top pairings, so whoever gets matched up against them has to do a good job against them and uh, be ready to prepare. The one thing the Americans have going for them is their goalie. Eric Comrie has stellar stats, including the league's second best save percentage. He alone could steal a game or two. The Rockets will have to be sharp to get pucks by the Winnipeg second rounder, a guy they only saw once this year. I've played with Coms a few times in my career, and I think he's definitely a goalie that can steal games. And we can't take them lightly, and especially him. I know we have to stick to our game plan and get a lot of shots on net on him and making sure that his night's tough. Although they weren't very good at home the past 10 games, the Americans are usually a tough team to play in the Toyota Center in Kennewick, where the fans can give the visitors an earful. They get behind their team, whether they're down five or up five, so you know, I remember going in there, it's, it's, it's not the easiest place to play, whether all the, the sounds and the music and whatever they bring. Whenever you go into Tri-Cities, you know you're going to be in a battle and you know it's not going to be easy. Which brings us back to the Seattle series. We all remember that one, don't we? The Rockets can ill afford to fall behind 3-0 to a much lower seed if they have any hopes of a long run in the postseason. That means a focused game plan to put these guys away. We know coming into that Seattle series we were the favorite. We got a little cocky, I think, and we, we fell, out, fell down 3 nothing, and that really can't happen in the playoffs because we just saw how tough it is to the second round to kind of win that one and speak out of that one. So I think this year we definitely know that we're a more mature group. All of us know what it feels like to lose and that, that didn't feel good at all. So I think we're ready to kind of make a run at it this time and then not, not take our opponent lightly and respect our opponent and respect our game plan. Game one goes Saturday at 7 p.m. Game two Sunday at 5.